does look like there's some survivors in, and we should point out there's all sorts of conflicting reports when it comes to the number of fatalities. A local government official within the past hour told us 20 people were killed. Now, state TV here in Egypt are t is saying that 14 people were killed, four are missing, three are injured. So a lot of conflicting reports, which is not unusual uh, right after an incident like this. We're going to work in the coming hours to verify those numbers, but you have to imagine the families of these victims going through an incredible time right now of shock and anguish. This incident taking place near the city of Luxor in southern Egypt. This is the site of some of Egypt's most uh, famous ruins. According to a government official, 23 people were on board this uh, balloon, all of them tourists, nine Hong Kong nationals, uh, three British citizens, uh, four Japanese citizens, one Hungarian, two French, one Egyptian. The pilot was Egyptian as well. State TV uh, saying that this balloon crashed when the flammable gas cylinder on board exploded, the balloon plummeting 300 meters the operator of this balloon, the company is called Sky Cruise. You have to imagine they're going to be under tremendous pressure to answer some questions. And depending on the condition of the pilot and the injured and various witnesses there, they're going to be expected to answer some questions as well. But to recap, a hot air balloon accident in southern Egypt near the city of Luxor. At least 14 people killed, according to state TV. We're going to continue gathering information. We'll bring it to you in the coming hours, Anne. Have balloon accidents like this happened before in, in Egypt? They have, but not for about uh, four years. In 2009, the hot air balloon industry went through a rough set stretch. In about two months, uh, more than 80 people uh, were injured. The industry shut down for about six months. They improved and tightened uh, safety measures. And since then, uh, nothing had happened until today. You have to imagine the hot air balloon industry is once again going to come under scrutiny uh, after this particular incident.